Oh, give me some potential, potential. That's all I need. Okay, so we have spent the past few videos looking at the electric fields due to a continuous charge distribution. Um, but one of the interesting things we've also seen back when we studied electrostatics was the idea of an electric potential or a voltage out in space. Now, we're going to look at voltages for continuous charge distributions, and we're going to start by looking at a ring of charge. We're going to kind of skip the uh, arc of charge, the line of charge. We're just going to look at uh, the ring of charge here. So you'll see I have a similar picture before. Um, down below, I have a ring of charge. Um, you know, it's the circular ring. Uh, upwards from it at some position Z uh, is, you know, the vertical distance away from that. So that's our Z axis. It's position Z away. Um, we have this point out here, P. Uh, what's the voltage out at this? So what's our voltage out here? Um, we This circle itself, this ring, has a radius of big R. And in the ring of charge video for the electric field, um, we looked and we saw that we could quickly state that this is a right angle and that the hypotenuse here for R is just R squared plus Z squared to the one half power. That's just the Pythagorean theorem. So how can I get a voltage? Well, if we recall the electric potential, the voltage is a scalar, which means that my total voltage is just the summation of all of the individual voltages. So if I was able to take like, hey, look, this piece here is charge one, and this piece here is charge two, and this one is charge three, I could just add them all up. And the reason why I could do this is because all the radial distances are the same. So I could say that this is really just, it's the summation of KQI, where I is the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth charge, divided by some radius. And if these radii were changing, I could call this Ri, but in this case they're not changing. I have the same radius. So it's just that. Which means that this k, or the 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, that's a constant, and this r is a constant, so I'm not really summing them up. I'm just pulling them out of the summation, and then I'm just summing up all of the q's. And if we note that this value of r really is in terms of other things, I can just say that this is equal to um, k, or 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, if you like writing that, over big R squared plus Z squared to the 1 half power times the sum of each of our individual charges. And if you took all of the charges on this ring and you added all of the possible charges together, what you would get would be the total charge, which could be like positive Q or negative Q or whatever the charge is on this ring. Whatever it is, that's it. So you actually know that the voltage due to a ring of charge is just equal to K times whatever charge you have on the ring divided by the ring's radius squared plus Z squared, that distance away, to the 1 half. Uh, depending on the problem, uh, we do this for a ring here. If you had an arc of charge, this actually works the exact same way. Um, sometimes you need to be careful here because maybe they're going to give this QT uh, to you in a different way, but you don't need to integrate. You don't need to integrate that. You just need to say, look, I have the total charge. I add them all up. Um, and this really works because voltages here are scalar values. Um, you know, if we had to integrate something, that would be because we didn't have a nice circle or a nice arc of charge. Uh, if the radial values were changing, maybe they would, we'd have to change that as well. Um, you know, that'd be a little more complicated. But if everything's a constant except for the charge, which we're just adding up, then just get the total charge and we're good there. And that's because these are scalars. Uh, we don't need any cosine terms here to cancel things out. We just add them all up due to scalars. So that is it. And the electric potential for a circular ring of charge or a circular arc of charge, it's just this. We're finished. Adios. Take it easy.